Hi everybody, my name is Lauren Castillo. I'm an author and an illustrator and I'm coming to you from my home studio in Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. Um, I am here to share my new book, Our Friend Hedgehog, with you guys today and we are going to draw the character of Hedgehog. So let's get to it. Okay, so Hedgehog is the main character in the series, Our Friend Hedgehog, The Story of Us. And we're gonna draw her today. We are going to, but before we start drawing, I want to show you the whole cast of the characters. So here is the cast. So here's Hedgehog, and this is her best friend, Muddy. And these are the characters that become then her good friends that she meets along the way in this adventure story. So, all right, let's get started. We'll start with my little sketchbook here. Okay. So I like to draw in sketchbooks, small ones preferably. I am a big fan of drawing tiny, as you can see right there. Um, and I love to draw with pens. This is called a Tumbo pen, it's a calligraphy pen. But sometimes I draw with ballpoint pens or just pencil or even a crayon or a colored pencil. These are watercolored pencils. So if they get wet after you draw with them, like, let me show you how they get wet. So if I dip my finger in some water, I can just about turns into watercolor. So it's pretty cool. Just, just by this little pencil, you can paint with it with your finger. So I'm gonna show you how I draw hedgehog. So we start with her head. So she's got a big round noggin there. Actually, it's a tiny noggin. A little nose. A little, little mouth here. Her, here's her eye, skip her an ear. And hedgehogs have what are called spines. They are like hairs we have as humans, and the spines sort of protect these little creatures. So here, give hedgehog a little arm there. Here's more spines. belly here, a little foot in the front, and a little foot there showing in the back. Give her a bit more spines on her belly. Okay. There we go. Hedgehog loves nature. She is probably holding a flower. wildflower and her friend Chick is sitting on the wildflower. <laughs> there we go. There's Chick. Now we've got to give Hedgehog a place to be sitting in so I'm gonna use my watercolor pencils. Actually wait forgot one important thing about Hedgehog. She's got a very rosy cheek. That's a big trait of Hedgehog here. That's how we know her from other Hedgehogs is that she's got this rosy cheek and she's got a little bit of rosiness going on in her ear right there. Um, so let's give her some, some grass. This flower here. We'll make this a, I'm going to use one of my markers. This is a red flower. There we go. And maybe put a shadow. It's sunny out. So Hedgehog's got a little bit of a shadow underneath of her. From the sun that casts that. There we go. And then if I wet my finger again sort of paint with that watercolor pencil. Let's give Chick some color too. Chick's got an orange beak. And Chick has a brother. So let's add 
chick's brother. Chick number two. On top of Hedgehog's head. The chicks are very curious little little guys here. All right. Got to color in chick's brother. have it. Just give Hedgehog a little bit more spines. So basically Hedgehog's pretty easy to draw. She's got lots of little lines throughout her body. Those are all the little spines. I wonder if you've ever met a, he a hedgehog. I've always wanted a hedgehog as a pet, but I haven't had a pet hedgehog yet. Maybe in the future. All right. So there you have it. I'll draw, I'll sign my name. That's what we always do after we make a drawing. Lauren Castillo. And there you have it. Our friend Hedgehog and her chick friends. Thank you all for spending time with me today and drawing alongside me. I hope you will continue to practice those hedgehoggy drawing skills. And until next time, take care. Bye.